Our new hearties, ahoy and welcome. Tis I, Captain Facebeard, back reacting to more awesome music with Heather. Hey. If in this be your first voyage with us, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on none of the good stuff. No. If you are enjoying our content, please consider leaving us a tip. Super thanks on eligible videos and direct donations. Keep this channel running. Use the links in the pinned comment. You can find playlists for these and other bands in the description. The first one is the American Nightmare. So that's the uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street one. Mm -hmm. We've seen this one before. But I don't remember it at all. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember this one at all. Uh, we've seen the Thank God It's Friday one before, and we've seen the one from Child's Play, and that's the one I think I remember the the most is the Child's Play one. Because I think we see, we've seen it most recently. Yeah. So let's uh, continue down our path of Looky Findy. The Looky Findy path. Mon is with us for this one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the silver screen. <laughs> no, really, Colin. It's <laughs> I'm happy for you. It's a major accomplishment. That couldn't happen to a better book. Well, I just thought I'd call to check in, you know? There was some competitiveness between us back at school, and I wanted to make sure that me getting published before you, there were no hard that feelings. Is certainly not. I mean, a rising tide raises all boats and whatnot. Look, you've been That's a weird thing. Research, and I've been focusing on helping patients. Well, not a grumble in sight, mate. You know, I'd, look, I, I have another patient coming in, Mo, so uh, I have to let you go, you know? No, ta-ta. I'll see you at the next reunion. Oh, that burns. Mommy, get. <laughs> I love that. Karen! Dr. Karen, Bell. did Spencer Charnas' patient transfer files come in yet? No, not yet. Did you I've... call? No, I've emailed all... Email? Karen, you have a beautiful mouth. Pick up a telephone, and let's see if we can make it do something useful, shall we? I mean, apparently this Charnas fellow is a burgeoning rock star. First impressions, hmm? Ooh. Wait, what? Just be cute for the camera, that's your job. Mr. Charnas is here. Well, don't keep him waiting. <laughs> what are you for? Ah, Spencer! May I call you Spencer? Sure, everyone calls me Spencer. Excellent. Take a seat. You, we can uh, get up to speed on your treatment thus far. Dr. Michelson's office has uh, failed to forward your session. Why can't you loud? I'm afraid. I don't think they're ever really going to, Doctor. What makes you say that? Well, I had been with Dr. Michelson for almost two years, and out of the blue, without any warning, he drops me. No phone call. An email, no less. And I guess I just feel a bit betrayed by the whole thing. Oh, absolutely. I was just making that very point. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm already just like, somebody kill this guy. <laughs> so he has somebody uh, kill this guy. He's annoying. Yeah. Karen B. Cray, don't piss her off, yeah? You're so loud. Fresh start, new blood. Yeah. Well, what was it that was going on in life that made you seek out therapy in the first place? I had been having these really disturbing dreams. And most nights I can't fall asleep. And when I do, these nightmares wake me up. Well, it's good that you've taken the first step and come in. I mean, you shouldn't feel silly about feeling the way you feel, though. These <laughs> are a part of you. I mean, you should never be embarrassed about being yourself. Well, let's start with your dreams, then. Um, I assume you had one last night? So why don't you uh, describe it for me? There's this girl. Okay. Now you guys can see her, what she does when she wants his attention. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I got a ball gag in my mouth, and there's a clown there. And then there's Jack Palance, and he's dressed up like somebody from Shakespeare. There is... Would you stop? There's like one of those gray-headed alien guys and uh, Maury Povich 
I have no idea what's going on. That's usually just every night that's the dream. Mona, leave Andy alone. Do you know this girl? No. She actually looks very similar to your receptionist. <gasps> um, we knew Karen be gray. She's in high school, and I'm afraid for her. Why, Spencer? What does she have to be afraid of? It sounds crazy, but there's this entity, almost, uh, I guess I would call it a, a dream demon, and it haunts her nightmares. A dreamin'? A dreamin'. <laughs> Has nightmares. This entity can hurt her in her dreams, but in real life too. Okay. It's as if her dreams are spilling over to reality. Freddy Krueger. And kids are dying in her town, and they think it's suicide. Yeah, Freddy Krueger. It's, not, it's this dream. You're you're explaining the plot of Freddy. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, if a metal song kicks in and everybody in the room doesn't look like someone just cracked off a really bad fart. <laughs> like, like, uh, we all get stank face, basically. Yeah. You want everyone to get stank face. Oh, Is yeah. she Nancy? I think she might be Nancy, yeah. Yeah, and I love the shade of her lipstick. That's so cool, like a, like a greenish brown or greenish? Blackish, brownish. Oh, the guitarist. Oh, I have to look for these for Rocksmith. Oh, yes. <clears throat> That's so cool. So catchy. That is wicked. Oh yeah, this riff is killer. Jesus's voice is wicked. Guitarist. I know. The whole band is just tight. Oh, Jesus. Should not be this good and this catchy. I just yeah. Ah, these guys are amazing. It's like a magic trick to adopt this as your content and be that fucking legit. That build. Down. Oh, I love that, weirdly enough.
DIY version. <laughs> Takes a lot of balls. Then what? What happened? I don't know, I just wake up. <laughs> yes, well, I mean, I can see why this would all be. You've already greenlit the second one to your th to your therapist. You're good to go. Oh, agreed. Hundred percent. It would be amazing. Yeah. Unfortunately, I mean, we're gonna get to the bottom of these dreams and what's called. This is now when it makes sense that I tell you what my absolute dream um, cover song is, and just in case you don't know who the the second band is, I've got a little tiny bit that'll make that. Uh, make that more more uh make make sense okay so it's this band doing a cover of thriller from michael jackson and when it gets to the spoken part it's done by danny filth from this <laughs> Fuck, i love cradle of filth that's exactly what i need mm. <laughs> welcome <laughs> welcome back okay welcome to the club Oh, where are you going, Mona? Just getting comfy. Take weeks of rigorous therapy. I figured that, Doctor. Maybe even months. I'm willing to put in the work. Excellent, excellent. Perhaps years. Years? What? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I was thinking of something else. <laughs> I think in the meantime, some kind of sleeping aid should be in order. Unfortunately, my colleague across the hall is a psychiatrist, and she might be able to just whip you up a quick script for something, you know? Help you get through the night, so to speak. I'll just pop over the hall and ask her, and be back in a mo, okay? Sounds good. That sounds fucking sketchy. Person across the hall will pop you up on a quick hey, script. I found another patient 15. Not so worry, it won't take a moment. I was just wondering, if you were aware of any studies that were conducted on serial killers as they were undertaking their killings. What? Well, I was just thinking that all of the Mental Health Society's studies on serial killers was, took place after the killings were already concluded, you know, when they were already behind bars. Well, of course, no one could ethically study a murderer knowing full well... I mean... What made you think of that? Oh, oh, nothing. I was just, you know, reading a colleague's article and thinking that how useful it would be if we could study the killer while he was undertaking his murders and study how the psyche was altered by each individual killing. Useful, maybe, but impossible to conduct from any sort of ethical position, though. Yeah, yeah. Pity that, though. Times like that, no wonder why you can't get any sleep. Is that a picture of an elephant over there? <laughs> Who is that writing that? That's me, actually. That's you. May I see it? Where was that taken, Doctor? In Africa. After I yeah. came my residency, some friends and I did Doctors Without Borders, and it was probably the greatest experience of my life. Is that where you got that figure, too? Oh. No, that's a that's a fertility icon from Home Restoration. <laughs> home gonna, Restoration. I thought you were gonna say Home Depot. Someone told you what a fascinating woman you are, Doctor. Thursday. Why? This is five milligrams of diazepam, but it's Ooh. not a permanent solution. Trust me, your signature will give me more relief than you know, Doctor. Thank you. What? The town of Blairstown, New Jersey has been rocked yet again by a mysterious teen suicide. This marks the ninth overdose of the sleep suppressant drug. <laughs> Luckily. Oh, 
But she's back. Yes. Luckily, we don't have to wait. Because Tell. nightmares can continue right now. That sounds terrible. <laughs> nightmares can continue right now. God. That's awesome. <gasps> yeah, I'm going with Christine. I'm, I gotta go. Uh, besides, there's water being being touched by the in the strange, other room. Yeah. Really? Oh my God, Mona, you're loud. But I'm turning off your camera. You're done. You're done. I'm, you're done. I'm turning off your camera because because you're you've become a, a like spotlight whore. That's what I'm saying. Spotlight, spotlight whore. whore. No. Uh, that's me name. Do you realize this is kind of stupid? I don't want to do this. You can do your own jingle. I've got standards, I'm not doing it, no, it's not happening.